Okay, so let's look at the data from our first experiment here. You're seeing my screen uh, to get started, and here is a project file uh, for RStudio. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that, and you'll see RStudio open. And it loads up what's called the workspace. And although this is not an R programming class, uh, so you're comfortable, I'll just point out a few things, and as we go, I'm confident that you'll come to recognize uh, uh, which parts of this software that you kind of need to work with and pay attention to. Um, upper in the upper left, we have the actual R file. Uh, I've called it Coursera.R. And this file uh, contains the analyses that we'll be doing. Uh, with these uh, number signs, you can see their comments. So there's some uh, preamble there to help, uh, help you get started. Uh, down in the bottom here is the console, which is where our output will appear and where we'll issue commands. And then over here on the right, you can see a few different tabs. The current one is called Packages, which tells us what kinds of, you can think of them as libraries um, that R has, has loaded in. And uh, when you need a package that you don't have, you can either click this Install button and type its name, or you can issue the Install Packages command, which I've explained here in a comment at the top of the, of the, uh, the code screen. Uh, there's also over here a uh, list for files. Uh, you can see various plots, uh, a help viewer, uh, and some other panes. Uh, I'll leave it on packages for now, uh, but as you'll see, we'll end up touching some of those others as well. So as we get started here, uh, we'll work our way down through this file from the top, and we'll load in uh, data sets that are in the same directory as this code. I'll go back to that folder view that we just had a moment ago, and you can see all of these are CSV files that we'll work with uh, as we go through uh, this course. Uh, I have the CSV files set to open with Microsoft Excel, which is why they have the icon that they do, but we won't really need to view them in Excel. We'll just view them directly in R. So I'm assuming in this code that you've installed the packages that you need, and if you need a package that you're not sure you have, uh, you can always do install.packages with the name of the package you need in quotes. What will tip you off that you need that package is in the code you'll see uh, the command for library with a name not in quotes within it. And that will tell you uh, that you need that package first before you can load up the library.